Y'all, I lied. I lied, I lied, I lied to y'all, and I'm so, so sorry. Hello, my beautiful butterflies, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Sephora haul. I have everything sitting right here, and I'm going to share with you what I picked up from the sale okay guys before we get into this sephora haul let's go over some housekeeping just in case you're interested really really quick though because i have a lot to share with you from sephora so starting with my face today as foundation i have on my nars right here and this is in the shade aruba Sorry that the top is so messy there, but that is what's on my face today. And I love NARS products. It's one of my go-tos when it comes to foundation as well. So I have those staples in my collection that I love, and NARS is one of them. So that's what's on my face today as foundation. Then as for my concealer today, I am using my Hourglass concealer and I use this as a brightener under my eyes and this is in the shade Sienna and then let's talk about these eyes today you guys so I have on this Dior palette from that plan to Paris collection and this one is in the shade 983 Champs-Élysées. I believe these are all sold out now, but this has the beautiful burgundy pinkish tones in there. So, so gorgeous. So I have this beautiful burgundy tone right here all over my lid and my outer V. Then I went in with this beautiful shimmery pink color and I laid that right on top for a pop of like glitter because it has those glitter particles in it and then I also took this pearly white glittery shade right here and put it in my tear duct so I use this shade this shade and this shade on my eye look today and then as for my mascara I use today, I use this brown black one by Essence um, and it's the Lash Princess. And this I picked up from Ulta. I mentioned it here before. I also use the black one as well. But this is just a nice inexpensive mascara that gives you that length and the volume that you need if you're like me so yes i definitely love this one and will continue to purchase it and then next as an eyeliner today i went in with this morphe eyeliner called all night and it's this beautiful plum color that you see right there and so here it is right there and that is what's in my waterline today and then as for my cheek color today i'm using one by house labs and this is called fire moon here's what it looks like right here and there's that beautiful terracotta shade right there and if you're ever wondering what i use on my lid upper lid as a transition color it's always this shade here as well as you know this is blush but you can use it for whatever you want you guys so i use it as a transition color as well so again this fire moon is what i have on my cheeks today and then this highlighter you guys I'm already becoming obsessed with it. Um, it's the new one I picked up from Gucci. And it's in Warm Gold. Here's what it looks like right here, you guys. And this is a beautiful bake gel formula that for me gives you such a nice natural glow. So I'm loving that, you guys. So that was my first time using that one today and I love it so far 
And then next is my lip combo today, you guys. I am not using anything different with my liner. It's my same one from Morphe in the shade Sweet Tea. Looks like that. And then as for my lips today, I am using this beautiful coral shade from Sicily. And this is in the shade Beverly Hills, which I love, you guys. It's so gorgeous. So that's what's on my lips today. And next, as for my earrings today, I'm wearing some Oldie But Goodie Chanel Iridescent CC earrings um i have this t-bar necklace on from amazon and then my sweater today is an old one from zara and as for my fragrance today i'm wearing one of my favorites you guys from louis vuitton it's called dance and blossom this is such a beautiful floral feminine scent you can smell like the bergamot in here the jasmine it has a musky scent in here as well, you guys. It's just such a floral, feminine, and pretty scent, you guys. I absolutely love this one. And then, as for my bag today, another oldie but goodie. And if y'all have been watching me for a long time, you know <laughs> these were my favorite bags to carry back in the day. And they still are. So this is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoire. And y'all, if you can see it right there, it has the LV right there. And it's in that epi leather. And it has that beautiful silver hardware on this one, which I love. Now, back in the day, I don't know if they still let you buy these type of straps. But back in the day, Louis Vuitton sold this black strap here that you can put on the bag and buy it as an extra piece because as you know it comes with like this little small one here so yeah this has been one of my favorites I have several of these uh pochette accessoires and I remember back in the day I know they don't sell the epi leather anymore but I was a fan of the Epi Leather and also the Vernie ones. So, if you remember those bags, you guys, hit the like button. But yeah, here's all my things in here today. And it's not much, you guys, so I can do a quick what's in my bag for you guys. How about that? So, I have this lip balm here from Laneige that I shared with you in my last um, haul of like some of the Sephora gift sets before the sale started that was out. I have my Touchland hand sanitizer and I also shared this one in that salted caramel. And then next in here we have my Chanel Mira. This is the burgundy one from that Codes Colors collection. Remember I went crazy and bought all of those. And then also in here, I have my Chanel card case slash wallet is what I use it for. It has all of these pockets, you guys, where you can put so much stuff in. I have coins down here, cash on the other side. You guys, this is one of my favorites to carry. So I have that in that beautiful burgundy shade. And then lastly, I have my... Um, old coin purse which just has um, some little necessities I put in here um, I have Tic Tacs I have another lip balm the Ola Hendrickson one um, some like wipes and then more cash on like this side over here so yeah that's all I have in my little pochette accessoire and that is what it looks like in this one of course because of the epi leather it has like a micro suede lining right there so i definitely love this piece will forever be in my collection you guys all of the ones that i have because i have the canvas ones as well <laughs> 
So, yes, definitely. The only thing that I regret is not ever getting the Vernie one because when I was buying this one, I remember I wanted the Vernie one in this deep, deep brown burgundy shade, just like that Chanel mirror. If I can find a picture of it, I'll insert what I'm talking about. But it was a toss-up between that and this black one. And I wish I should have just bought both. <laughs> so, anyway... Yeah, absolutely love the Louis Vuitton um, pochette accessories. Now, let me just say, they are very expensive now. Again, the Epi Leather ones are no longer available. You can still get the monogram ones. However, I believe they're very expensive now. I know back in the day when I bought this Epi Leather one, it was like 600 and something dollars. When I bought my monogram ones, they were somewhere in between four or five hundred dollars. But y'all, they crazy expensive now. I lied. I lied. I lied. I lied to y'all. And I'm so, so sorry. I know. I told y'all in my last haul that when it came to this sale, I pretty much was going to be shopping for other people for like gift sets and things like that. <laughs> Y'all, I lied. Y'all know I lied. Because when I got in that store, I couldn't contain myself. I just was all over the place grabbing everything and did not do what I intended to do. Okay? I didn't. I didn't. I'm not even going to do it to myself anymore, you guys. If I say something like that again, just throw it out the window. Okay? Because I ain't going to be able to stick to it. Because I got all this stuff over here to share with y'all. And it's mine. So now, before the sale end, I'm just going to quickly order some things for my daughter and my niece. Because they are like the makeup lovers that I know. And, um, yeah, I'm going to call it a day. That's going to be the end of this sale. Because your girl went crazy in the store, okay? So, yeah, y'all, I digress. Your girl lied to you. Forgive me. And if I say it again, just know it's going to be a lie. Just know I'm telling the fee up, y'all. Just know it. Because I ain't going to stick to it. That's that. I said it. I'm done. Let me just take a little sip, you guys. Because I got a lot to go over with you. I have a box. Two large bags. And one smaller bag. I only purchased two items online. And I did that because they were not available in the store to purchase. They were online only items for now. And so here is the Sephora Savings Event information right here. But if you're not familiar, I will put it up on the screen. The sales event starts from November the 1st to November the 11th. Now, if you're a Rouge member like me, you got to shop on the 1st. Everyone else, VIB and Insider members, they shop from the 5th to the 11th. And the sale ends for everybody on the 11th. Um, and so, for all Sephora brand items, you will receive 30% off. Um, if you're a Rouge member, again, like myself, you receive 20% off. And if you're VIB, you're 15% off. And if you're an insider, you will receive 10% off. If you're online shopping, you would just put the word savings in the promo code and your discount will come off. And if you're not a beauty insider, you can just simply sign up and receive your 10% off. So that covers the sale. Let's get into my first little bag here, you guys. So first, let me just show you some things that I picked up um, using some of my points because I love these items. And whenever I see them in the store and they have them available that I can pick up and use my points, I will get them. So the first one I picked up, y'all know I love coffee. So I love buying the Sephora um, brand glass straws so you get two glass straws in here you get 
a pink one and a clear one and then you get the little um, cleaning utensil right here on the other side and you also I believe I know years back I used to get a pouch I don't know if it's a pouch in here now let's see yes the pouch is still down in here so you get this little pouch too to keep them in so I love getting these because again I'm a coffee drinker or whenever I drink it doesn't even have to be coffee I always prefer to use a straw so yeah I love to pick these up and so this was a hundred of my points then y'all I saw this set for 500 points and you know 500 points is just equivalent to ten dollars saving ten dollars off your order but I saw this set y'all in the store which you know I love the Sol de Janeiro I'm not fond of the original but I can always throw that in a gift bag for someone else but yeah y'all look at that set so it looks like you get four of them and I love all of them again except for that original and that's only because it's just a little bit too strong for me so let me show you how it looks when you open it up so you get the spray in the 59 and then you get the coral one you get the 59 one and the original and then my favorite is this like pink one so y'all yeah i thought that was a nice set for 500 points and you know for me these are going to be great travel companion so i thought that was perfect so i picked that up next i picked up this little set right here from glossier now y'all know i love glossier lip balms and i used to buy them all the time especially when they came in the tube like this right here which is the like squeeze tube this formula y'all I loved it then what made me stop for a while buying the Glossier was that they came out with this shape here now if you were a Glossier fan to this lip balm the only complaint that I had and I'm sure others had it because it made them change it was you didn't want a squeeze out tube you wanted something that you could just apply to your lips so then is when they came out with this formula right here and they made the squeezy tube but where they went wrong is they didn't keep this original formula in here they made it more liquidy and loose more like a gloss and it just wasn't as thick as this one and if you're like me i went to this launch party and then after i tried these out i called them up because i wasn't happy because i wanted this original formula but with this tube so here it goes y'all they listened to us and they came out with it so they put the original formula back in the tube with the lip applicator on it so i have one already that i'm using and it is the same like the original so i'm so glad they listened to us because y'all i told y'all when i love something and you know something changes about it or something happens where i don't love it anymore i'm gonna give them a call i'm gonna let them know so, <laughs> yes, I'm glad they listened. So, I picked up this new little gift set one that they had with two new flavors in here. And this is the Biscotti Balm and also the Espresso. Y'all know I love me some coffee. So, I'm hoping this Espresso one smells and tastes a little bit like that and then they have the biscotti one too yes i can't wait to try this one out so i bought this little gift set um and received my 20 percent off on that one and then next y'all 
I picked up this gift set. Now, y'all know I love Danessa Myricks. Y'all know because I just shared with y'all in my previous video the whole palette that I couldn't wait for. The Sephora sale and I bought it before. If y'all haven't seen that video, I'll link it at the end for you guys. Because I also share some more gift sets that's available at Sephora right now that you can get on sale that are really, really good as well. And this is her new blush set. She has some limited edition colors in here. So I definitely wanted to try this out. I had to grab my little opener here because... Let me just uh, open this just to have a look at some of these. Now, I don't have my glasses on, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to read y'all the colors. But this is what it looks like right here. I'm loving this neutral shade here. So this one here is called Dancing Queen. And this one here that I know I'm going to love is called Spice Latte. Then we have a mini in red velvet. And we have a mini and Jubilee. So that is what was in this packaging, y'all. It was only $35, and then I got my 20% off. I love it, and I love supporting Danessa Myricks because not only is she a black owned brand, but she just does it right for us brown skinned girls. So I love that. So, yes pick that up okay so my next huge bag is like this so next i picked up this lip set by tower 28 they had this nice one here that had four of their mini shades and they all look quite neutral so that's a plus this one retailed for like 20 bucks. And, you know, then plus I got the 20% off. Let's just open it up and I'll show you what they look like. So, here's what it looks like. Open there. I have this pink one and a large one. So, it's nice. I love to have little minis. You know, I carry mini bags. And I like to put them on my keychain as well. So I picked that set up. And then I also picked up the Summer Fridays one. Because you know I love Summer Fridays. I picked up this set last year they had. But they had like some red shades in it. And maybe like two neutrals. So I took the two neutrals out. And then I gave the other red um and coral kind of shade to my little niece but i'm glad this year they had an all neutral set so you know i was ready to get this one i think this one retailed for uh 25 dollars and when you open it up you have all the shades right here and let me just see if it tells me on here so you have vanilla in here vanilla beige ice latte which i love and brown sugar as well so you have all four of those that looks like this here in the little minis and again i love these for my smaller bags but i especially love them because i like to put them on my keychains and here's one that i have right here on my louis vuitton clay and i like to attach them to this i have a video on how I attach these. I will link it for you at the end just in case you haven't seen that. But yeah, I like to do that. So, you know, sometimes I just like want a grab and go and I'll take this and I'll put um, like a card and some cash in here. And you know, if you need to run to the gym or run to the store, you know, attach your key here and you have everything pretty much you need. You know, I try to make my life simple like that. And I always have to have a lip balm wherever I go. That's why I like to attach them to this clay. So, anywho, I picked up these two. And then next, I needed to restock on my one size on till dawn setting spray so i got a larger one of this one i have the little tiny one here that i carry in my travel bag as well 
But yeah, I love this stuff. Now, the only thing I've told you guys before, when you spray it on, it's like spraying hairspray aerosol to your face. You know, just hold your breath like me, but it will make that makeup stay on forever. You can dip your face in a pool if you got on makeup, and y'all, it's going to stay intact. So, definitely recommend this. And then next, I picked up a trio set of the K-Skin Lip Balms. I love this, y'all. I can't highly recommend. Last year, they had a set that came with the pot. And it also came with one of these, the original brown one in here that's clear. And I picked up that set from the Sephora sale. Well, this year they had this set here, which also has that clear one. And then it has um, two other shades in here, which one is a rose shade and then the other one is a nude shade. So, the one that they had last year, y'all, I have went through two of these already. This is the clear one. That's how much I love it. And then they also gave you this one in the set, which just is one you can just put up on your vanity. So, this one I just have on my vanity for like a night mask. It's very thick, very moisturizing. And then this one I would carry every day in my purse as a clear balm to put on. And I love it, especially during the summertime because it has SPF 30 in it, you guys. So, yes, I was excited when I saw this trio set. Again, SPF 30. 30 protects you from the sun y'all and at my age you know you know i need it then i also picked up and i've heard so much about it so i got these little sets that were on sale um and it's the lawless lip glosses or forget the lip filler and they have three in this one they have Rosy Outlook, they have Melrose, and they have Bitten. This is the trio set from Lawless. And I definitely wanted to try their lip glosses. So I'm excited to have this set. I saw this one. And then I also saw another little set from Lawless 2 which this one has the gloss in it but then it also has this overnight lip plumping mask in there let me see let me open this one so in here you get the forget the filler lip gloss and then also down in here you get a little um lip mask as well if I can get that out and so here is the little lip mask. So I thought that was a nice little set to get. The next set I picked up was from Sol de Janeiro. And here it is right here. And it is the set with the four sprays in there. And y'all... I always carry one of these on my vacation. I love to spray these, not just as a body spray, but I love to spray them in my hair as well, just to make my hair smell so good. So I picked up this little set right here. And so here's what it looks like right there. So you get that one, get that one. Not a fan of this one, so I'll give that one away. And you get that one. So yeah, nice little travel set. And then next, y'all, I picked up a lippy from Dior. Now, for Dior, y'all know I normally like to order online because, you know, I like their little gift with purchases, their packaging, all of that. But I just picked this one up because I was able to save 20%, y'all. And it's that sequence formula, you guys, that gives you that glitter on your lips. So, here's what it looks like right here. And apparently, they had these last year, but I didn't even try them last year. Um, but I got this light shade here in the shade Dreams. So, what you're supposed to do is apply it on your lips and then 
like mesh your lips together after um, a few minutes and then you will get all of this sparkle and sequence on your lips so it's perfect for like holiday time new year so i thought i would try that out this year another item i wanted to try y'all from fenty beauty and y'all know i love rihanna's products i love fenty beauty i wanted to try her body milk and i told you guys i was gonna pick this up this is the butter drop body milk let's see what this looks like nice big size this is a glass container and I can't wait to see how this one performs I'm sure it will be nice I will let you guys know but I wanted something with a pump on it because as you know I use her original ones all the time this is my travel one that stays in my travel bag this is my one that stays up on my vanity but I wanted to get the pump one this time but I love these y'all this is my favorite scent because it's so so light so I love a nice light scent so I have that one so I love that I got this one here with the pump but I didn't stop there because I also saw her trio set that again I can use for travel when I smelled this one in the store, it was a really light scent, so I know that one would be fine. This is the original scent, which I already just showed you. It just has like a little sparkle to it, which I love. This scent, y'all, I don't know too much about because <laughs> it might bother me a little bit, but we'll see. That's how it looks. And so this white one here is toasted marshmallow which again is very light so I'm fine with that this one here is the original one with the little shimmer in it so I'm good with that and this one is just called the shimmery whip oil and then the last one here which is salted caramel which is this little orange one and y'all looks like that mm, I don't know this one a little strong put a little bit on my hand and see but we'll see anyway if I don't guess what I can gift that <laughs> and have the other two for traveling mm, it doesn't smell bad I might can you guys I might can that one that they had a couple years ago that had cinnamon in it yeah I couldn't do that one it was a little bit too strong and then down in my bag um the lady put some of the Olaplex oils. And I have, y'all, I've been Sephora shopping so much. And I do the order pickup sometimes. And they put these little ones in here. And I have been using this Olaplex bonding oil on my hair. And I quite love it, you guys. So I'm glad I got two more in this bag. Because I will definitely be using these and adding them to the ones I already have. Okay, y'all, we're going to go on to my next bag, which is really heavy and large. And I'm going to try to speed through this one as well, because I know y'all attention span is not long at all. I got it, because mine ain't either. If I get too chatty, I'll try to cut some of it out for you. I'm trying to keep the videos down to at least my sit-down videos being like at least no more than 30 minutes long. And if it's not a sit-down video where I'm doing housekeeping in it, then maybe 15 minutes or less. I hear y'all and I see you. So, I'm, I'm going to try to cut it down, y'all. I'm going to try to cut down. Anywho. I picked up first this necessary set. Now, y'all, let me tell y'all, when I first smelled this, I only smelled one. I didn't even know they had other scents. So the first scent I smelled was the spa-like one, the eucalyptus one, which I was not a fan of at all, you guys. So when I saw this set, in Sephora, I said, well, let me get the whole set of the little minis and then also whatever one that I like the most, I'll go back and get a full size of it. 
So, y'all, I picked up this mini set, which has four minis in it. I think it has that eucalyptus one in there, but again, I can just give that one away. Um, so yeah, that's this one here. Then, ooh, these are nice sizes too. Then they have this Santal one. I'm sure I love this one because I love Santal. And then the next one they have is Hinoki right here and the last one they have in here which i think is a new scent called alibinum and so that was the four that was in this nice size travel set so i absolutely love that and so after smelling that i went back and got a full size of the hinoki because that one was my favorite scent out of all of them so here is that full size bottle one right there and i can't wait to put this in my shower and use that actually i'm gonna use it tonight then i didn't stop there with the body care i went crazy with body care i fell in love with salt and stone you guys so i picked up this shower gel here in the santal and vetiver which i absolutely love that scent so this is another one that's gonna go in my shower stall y'all I'll put one around my bathtub too. And then next in here from Fenty Hair, I picked up the Curl Defining Cream, which y'all, in that last haul that I did, I shared with you, I picked up the gel. So I explained I didn't like anything to be hard on my hair. And you know, from what I had read, it didn't appear to be that way and it didn't once i tried the gel out on my hair my hair is still soft it doesn't feel hard at all so i definitely wanted to pick up something else so i end up picking up this uh curl defining cream as you can probably see i'm a curly girl y'all <laughs> my curls i'm a curly girl right so, um, yeah, the only part that I flat iron of my hair is my little bang right here, um, mostly on a daily daily. But, yeah, here it is right here. That is what it looks like. It still has the protector on it. So, I'm going to try this one out and see if I like this on my hair because it helps to define the curls. And I absolutely love the edge control that I purchased, so... The next item I wanted to try out is from Huda Beauty, and this is her Easy Blur foundation here that I picked up. Mine I picked up in the shade Macchiata, and this one will be a nice one to travel with as well. I'm excited to see how this formula is. I don't mind trying out different foundations as long as they work for me. I don't want anything cakey going into my fine lines, y'all, because I'm old and I got that. So, <laughs> as long as it doesn't do that, it can stay in my rotation. So, this is the easy blur and that's what caught my eye. So, hopefully, it'll be great. I'll let you know. Next, I wanted to pick up this cream from Youth to the People. I tried this out in the store, y'all, and it made my skin have such a glow that I just, like, could not put it down. So, yes, I picked it up and bought it home. That's the thing about when you're in the store and you're trying things out, y'all. That's why I came home with three shopping bags, y'all. It has, like, a really nice light scent. So it says hydrate plus glow dream body butter so I'm definitely definitely excited for this one y'all in my last video y'all I told y'all I was gonna get some more of the Sephora 
eyeliners because when they had the last sale the spring sale i got a couple of them and they were so good they were so smooth they didn't tug on my eyes or anything like that y'all so i got me three more shades um i got one in this beautiful cobalt blue then i got one in this beautiful terracotta and then the last one I got is in this shimmery bronzy shade. And so these were 30% off because these were Sephora brand. So if you wear liners, you guys, try the Sephora brand out. They glide on like butter. So picked up three more of those. They put me a little sample of the way um in my little bag in this bag so i use this so definitely love that little sample and then the last thing i got y'all was quite pricey but i'm excited for it y'all if you saw me shopping in the store you would have seen my camera on this y'all it's from coda lee i read good reviews on it this is their lift serum you guys i definitely wanted to have this after reading the reviews because if you're a girl like me with my skin my skin is very very sensitive you guys so for me when i put products on my skin i like them to have more of like natural ingredients in them i find for me that when i put products on my skin that have like retinol and you know those ingredients now retinol helps you with aging however my skin does not like retinol you guys i cannot use that it will make my skin red and feel raw it's just too harsh of an ingredient for my skin so i try to stay away from ingredients like that so i tend to use like gentle cleansers and lately i have been using korean skincare so it's very light you know that's what i love i try to keep hydrated i drink a lot of water and i know it may sound simple now where your girl has problem with her skin is where this Codalie comes in. Is that I have aging skin. Yes, it sags, you guys. My neck, my jawline, it sags. I have wrinkles, fine lines, wrinkles. When I smile, that's why I try not to smile too much. Because y'all, you'll see them crinkle up right there. And so this Codalie, when I read about it, it is a substitute for retinol because it doesn't have it in there so it it's a substitute for that retinol and then it's a serum that is claiming to lift your skin y'all your girl needs some lifting she needs some lifting and i'm just not one for botox and uh, not anything against it because y'all if i wasn't so afraid of needles i'll go in there and get me a 15 minute job done but y'all i'm scared of any kind of nip and tuck so yeah i just have to try to use my serum so i'm gonna try out this new Lee one because again i heard so much good things and reviews on this one that I'm willing to give it a try, y'all. This one was, I think, like $84 minus my discount. Plus, I got the 20% off. So, this is the perfect time for me to try this one out. And, you know, I'm as I'm reading on here, it says all types of skin wrinkles. Yes, that's me. So, I'm glad I picked that up. So, next, I picked up a fragrance, you guys. And I have to say, I have been loving playing with this brand. I have been mixing their fragrances and trying all sorts of ones. So I picked up another one here from Fleur. And y'all, this is the one in Father Figure. Y'all, I don't know how Fleur gets these names so dead on because this one definitely reminds me of my father, you guys. 
So I definitely wanted to pick this one up as well. And this one, you guys, it smells so good. You have some water lily in there. You have lush fig. You have musk. You have Madagascar, patchouli, sandalwood. Yeah, y'all, it's just a combination of some good stuff, y'all. And it smells so good. It's that green family fragrance. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I love it. And it definitely reminds me. It's something in here. Maybe it's the bergamot. It's something in here. Maybe mixed with the fig reminds me of something my dad used to wear. But when I say they get their names dead right on these, you guys, they do. So, I love this. One of my favorites that I didn't smell in the beginning, but I've absolutely been loving is the missing person. And y'all, look at where my bottle is. It's been a fan. It's been a fan favorite. So, I definitely have some others. I love the uh, mood ring. I love the strawberry letter. Y'all, I love the vanilla. It's I'm, I just been falling in love with the Fleur Next, scents. we're going to move on to the two items that I could not purchase in store. I had to get online. So, they were online items only. And first down in here, with I think 100 points, I got this Givenchy sample of their... Um, Prism Libre four color powder. I've heard so much about it. So it came with a little puff and the little powder samples to try out. I'm not really a loose powder girl. Um, so yeah, I just got it to try. And then my other sample here I got was a sample of the YSL Libre which was a free sample and then my other free sample I wanted to try out the Prada um, foundation so I got that and so that's what that looks like and I might see this foundation in my future if I actually like it so those were my samples in the box my first item right here y'all is an item that I wanted to have again for travel because I bought this item during the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I absolutely loved it so then I wanted to try out this sample pack that they had of these minis which I thought would be perfect for traveling and it's from Salt and Stone so I showed you I love the shower gel so I got that and these little mini deodorants in all the different scents here. So we got four different scents. The one I purchased from the Nordstrom sale was this one. Remember it came in a two pack during Nordstrom sale. And this was the Santal and Vetiver. Which that's what I got that shower gel in. I love this scent. And so... Yeah, I wanted to try some of the other scents too to see how I would like it. So I got it in the mini deodorant, which I'm glad um, they have this in a travel set. So first we have that Santal and Vetiver. So you see how that'll be perfect for a travel bag. So we have that Santal and vetiver right there then we have a mini of the bergamot and hanoki which i love that hanoki scent and then we have a mini of the neroli and basil and this last mini we have is black rose and oud here's all four of the minis and what I love is not just the scents, they are aluminum free and they do keep me covered, you guys. Now, I am not a girl who sweats either, but um, they do keep you nice, fresh, and clean. So, it doesn't wear off. It lasts me all day. And these are going to go in my travel bag.
I'm back, y'all. This is editing Talita here late in the evening. I realized as I was editing this video that I didn't hit record. So my last fragrance didn't record. But here it is, you guys. It's another one from Fleur. This is one of their new ones in Soft Spot. So here is what it looks like right here. There's the notes on the back. So as you can see, the top notes in here is bergamot peel, mandarin, freesia, the heart of the fragrance is jasmine petals, water lily, and vanilla orchid. The base note of the fragrance is amber, sandalwood, and musk. And this fragrance for me is just a very nice, soft, sensual scent. It gives me like sexy vibes, you guys, when I smell it. It almost smells similar to the Burberry Her, but a little different. It just gives me this sexy vibe that hits the spot, y'all, and it hits the soft spot, just like it says, you guys. So I'm definitely glad I picked this up. And I'm not disappointed that I bought this one as a blind buy. I'm totally happy with it. So that was my last item I picked up from the Sephora sale. Okay, y'all. So that's it. That's all I had to share with y'all. If that wasn't enough. Tell me if you shopped the sale, you guys, what you picked up. If you've seen anything that I got here that you liked or you tried, let me know down in the comment section. Let's chat and be friends. And if you have not already subscribed to become part of my butterfly family, why not? Hit that subscribe button down below and join us here. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because right now, you know, my videos are all over the place. And one way to be sure of when I upload a video is to be notified just by hitting that notification bell down below. And as always, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye, guys.